Braka, braka, braka. Welcome. It is your soul brother in righteousness, B. C. D. I. Vet Root with Eldris Janice Clark. Shalom, everyone. And we're not going to waste no time. We're just going to get into these prophetic proficiency signs. So, Janice, could you tell what book you're going to be reading from the regular book so everybody could keep up? Okay, Proverbs chapter 8, 22 to 31. And it reads as thus. You want me to start now? Followed by yesterday's message. I thought you was ready, my father. Followed by yesterday's message. Excuse the noise in the background. I can't, I can't, I don't have no control over that. Um, we're going to be understanding heavenly signs in heaven, all things. You ready, Sister Janice? Yes, I am. Go ahead. Okay, this is Proverbs chapter 8, starting from verse 22. And it reads as thus. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from, the, from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. When there was no depth, I was brought forth. When there was no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills was, I, I brought forth. And while yet, while as yet, he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the earth. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he had set a compass upon the face of the depth, when he established the crowds above, and when the when he strengthened the fountains of the of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the waters should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the fountains of the earth, then I was by him, and as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him. Thirty one, rejoicing in the habitable part of the earth and my delights with, with the sons of men. Amen. Therefore, hearken unto me, O you children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. That's 30. All right. All right. Braca Beethoven, Keys, Braca Hame Bordrius, Braca Burke Hunley. I'm going to switch the screen here in a little bit. Now, that's a two-faced sun right there. We read yesterday, YouTube, you might have to catch that on Facebook. It's on Facebook only, but the sun has two faces, one to cool and one to burn. And so now this concludes all that gibberish about the moon and the sun. I don't really care about that. I just want to prove the heavenly things that were spoken before you know, we could grasp an understanding because all of our ancestors told us to look up in the breath of God and talk to you. So that's what we're about to get into. Excuse the lagging if there be any lagging. I'm always on point, but AI want to work funny sometimes. Y'all know how that goes. So we hope you enjoy.
Really? Well, okay, let's try this again. Yes. Is this actually heaven? People were shocked after video footage and images were just leaked of NASA finding heaven. Okay, the Hubble telescope launched back in 1990. Four years later, 1994, we get that image right there. Okay, you know, shot back down to Earth from the Hubble telescope. Now, what did NASA do? Of course, they tried to hide it. As it says in Psalm 103, 11, that heaven is above the earth and God looks down upon us. But due to NASA's past, people believe that this may be AI or Asgard. But then again, you guys let me know what you think because if you do look closely at these images, it does look exactly how it is described in the Bible. By the way, that picture right there, my uncle gave me that picture. Um, it was taken by a photographer at Ellington Airfield of the Hubble Telescope. You know, you guys know my uncle worked at NASA. He told me that NASA, you know, does in fact try to hide images and anomalies from the... Now, y'all see this right here? It's Earth down here. That's how they did it and tricked you and thought you that they went to the moon. But before we get there, all right, we live right there. That's America. Y'all see the Sinai Mountain and the peace sign. So all that right there is the whole seven continents. You know what I'm saying? Israel, Egypt, all that. Now, the wings of my God, or the wings of the great mother, you see that water right there? Oh, it's, it's trying to play on me. You see that water right there? That's the wings. That's the same wings of Aquila. That's a constellation above your head. So the kingdom has to come down in order for for us to cross that land. So I want you to understand what we what we bring into the table here before we get there. Did we find where heaven is? Back in 1994, someone leaked pictures of heaven, which NASA want to hide. They say they took pictures of heaven with the Hubble telescope. And first they see only a star. But when the zoom more, this is what they see. This picture, which is in better quality. All right, that's enough for that. Now, y'all see this right here? There's no such thing as a crescent moon. That's the yod symbol of God. Let's see if I can find it. See, now that if you put it to the side, now that if you put it upside down, now that you put it upright, it's still that crescent. Yud, Yud is the foundation. See, see the Egyptian man, stupid dance. They say no, they're making the foundation of God. They're bringing generating power. Swastiska. All that is the Yod replicated in itself seven times as the most high can replicate himself a yahuda or a who ah great mom you'll find out see that's all symbols in your what's it called constellations there we go go back now, yesterday we read in the scriptures that the sun has two faces. We knew that because it talks about a pit. Oh my God, people. Y'all see this? Oh, right. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to these two eventually. Eventually. If it'll let me. So 
We got two thirds of the earth that Admiral Byrd called South Poles. There's land no man has ever, 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 ever been been on. Well, what's that about? Well, soon this thing quit acting up, and I get back to my page. Uh, I'll be able to show you, and then we're going to show you in the scriptures. Now, if y'all been with me here, Facebook. Wow, then you know that um, your boy here have um, what showed you on my reels and on my YouTubes that when they went to what you thought was the moon, they was on land. And when they touched that land, you remember when God told Moses, man, take your shoes off. You on holy ground. Now, when we hear that, we think we really know where he was at, where Eden was holy, wherever the presence of God was, whatever that was. And that's why Indonesians, Buddhists, Taoists, he Hebrews, they all fight to say, oh, well, we the one, we the people, because everybody is surrounded by the land, but you, you, you not that chosen brand, so to say. So if you have the spirit the spirit going to show you in heaven, on the earth, underneath the earth, underneath the waters of the earth, way above and beyond the astral plane of the earth. Ain't no way in the world you can ask, is you chosen? Because the stuff you going to be shown and then you want to question, he going to tell you. That's because you want to meet you. And you're not going to be able to deny that. So let me see if I can get this two face, two face character. Remember, on the mountain of Sinai, he said, All my light, all of my glory, I shall put in front of me. And it was darkness. Man, name and talking about the sun and solar eclipse the whole time, man. I lied to you, huh? What's that? Where the moon at? did a whole 360 you saw the pit now you see the mother of the glory of the solar sun with the moon under her feet pause that's the pit right there but it's also a portal. It's a portal to another entrance. And you see that yellow right there? That's the flaming fire. That's your Hebrews chapter 12, 29. Uh, the consuming fire. Uh, uh, God is a consuming fire. And in him is no darkness. Well, let's see it one more time. Or maybe not. I'm going to cooperate. It lets you see enough. Now, let's see the land. Now, I showed you in heaven. You see what it looked like? The wings. You see the, 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 the kingdom? That's land. Now, you see that missing? You see that circle right there? And underneath, that's what it looked like in our time. So, let's let's see, what, let's see what's popping. Let's see what's popping here. How much I have to fuck around to find out what I need to find out. See, as you can see, the more you fuck around... The more you're gonna find out. Y'all saw that, right? When Admiral Bird was flying in the air, now he was talking about real land. We were talking about mysticism. You don't know nothing, man. I mean, people are talking about something they know something or know God. You don't know nothing, bro. I don't know nothing. But that's them wings that separated, and the seven dragons is the seven continents chasing heaven right now that's in the wilderness ever since 1950 you know 40s 40 ish all around there you got to catch the last night messages we had the documentation all right right now remember this remember the cap cornerstone they saw in space remember the guy said somebody told us we don't belong here scared the bejesus out of him and say he started praying to the lord 
And he said, I saw a rainbow cat cornerstone pyramid thing. You and I know who that is. That's on God dog on first Peter chapter two, four through five. Be ye like the cat cornerstones. Y'all are stones of living fire. Go back to Ezekiel. Somebody stepped on your head because you said he was you walked on the stones of fire. Uh oh. It was hovering just several meters above the lunar surface and shimmered with all the rainbow colors again. Look at that cat corner. Look at that pyramid. It's in a it's, it's in a plasmic form. You know what I'm saying? If you tried to touch it, you would go right through it. If it wanted to touch you, it could do that. That's the difference. That's like the spirit of God. It could punch you in your mouth in invisible form. Or it could pick up some dust and let you see it and punch you in the mouth like a, a Jacob wrestled uh, uh, with the spirit. Not the full essence of the spirit. Just just, just one that God wanted to play play with him. Chapter 4, chapter 5. The one seated on the throne has a rainbow aura all around them with the 24 elders. Now this is when they went to the moon. There are fake clips of the moon. Yes, that was because they knew they was going to face extraterrestrials. Today, we call them the gray, but they are a geeky. All right? They are geeky. They was in Mars. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God already created the heavens and the earth. That is Mars and the moon, or some call crater Earth. Now, when Neil Armstrong and them went there, he said something scared him and said, y'all don't belong here. It was the most high. And then they said all of them began to pray because they were scared. You know, something was watching them. No. First Bam. Just wanted to go there. All right, Sister Janice, let's get to these scripts right here. The soul of man, the life L of man. Go ahead. Oh, where am I? Okay. <clears throat> the care which God exercised in fashioning Every detail of the body of man is as naught in comparison with his solicitude for the human soul. The soul of man was created on the first day, for it is the spirit of God moving upon the face of the last. Stop right there. So when that book said the spirit the of God of moved upon the face of the waters, that wasn't just Jesus. That was us. The body of Kai Reese. Keep keep going. Okay. <clears throat> For it was it is the spirit of God moving upon the face of the waters. Thus, instead of being the last, man is really the first work of creation. This spirit, or to call it by its usual name, the soul of man, possesses five different powers. By means of one of them, she escapes from the body every night, rises up to heaven, and fetches new life thence for man. With the soul of Adam, with the soul of Adam, the souls of all the generation of men were created. They are stored up. In a promptuary, promptuary in the seventh of heavens, whence they are drawn as they are needed for human body after after human body, the soul and body of man are united in this way. When a woman have conceived, the angel of the night, Layla, carries the sperm before God. And God decrees what the manner of human being shall become of it, whether it shall be male or female, strong or weak, long or short, fat or thin, and with all its other qualities shall be. Piety and wickedness are left to the determination of man himself. Then God makes a sign to the angels appointed over the souls, saying, Bring me the souls and so and so, which is hidden in paradise, whose name is so and so, and whose form is so and so. The angel brings the designated soul 
and she bows down when she appears in the presence of God and prostrates herself before him. At that moment, God issues the command, enter the sperm. The soul Stop. opens her mouth. Now, you had read earlier in Proverbs chapter eight of the Bible book, and it told you wisdom. And wisdom is you, you the mother, you the great. When you, you know, come to your purpose in the breath of God, like Yeshua in the flesh, so are we. And so because you are contained in a containment, that's not you. So wisdom is you, which is called the soul. And God is conversating with just one soul. But he treats one soul <coughs> like the whole body of God. But he's only married to one, though we are many, not polygamy and doing adultery and all different types. No, no, no. Like the world want to teach or religion. No, he treats all individuals as if collectively the millions or whatever the number is of righteousness. He only treats us the same. There's no favorites. Even Christ get thrown in that box. Continue reading. Okay. Enter this firm. The soul opens her mouth and pleads. O oh Lord of the world, I am well pleased with the world in which I have been living since the day on which thou didst call me into being. Why do thou now desire to have me enter this impure sperm? I am I who am holy and pure and a part of the glory. God consoles her. The world which I shall call thee caused thee to enter is better than the world in which thou has lived hitherto. And when I created, and when I created thee, it was only for this, for this purpose, the soul is then forced to enter the sperm against her, her will. And the angel carries her back to the womb of her, of the mother. Two angels are detailed to watch that she shall not leave it, nor drop out of it. And a light is set above her, whereby the soul can see from one end of the world to the other. In the morning, an angel carries her to paradise who's, and shows her the righteous who sit there in their glory with crowns upon their heads. The angels now, then say to this is the same thing that happened to Enoch, <clears throat> the way the Bible constructed. He was shown before. You think that was during his life. No, the flesh is never shown something that it doesn't already know. Those things, when he went from level to level, was shown to hell. It was while his mom and dad was humping, making, you know, making the action happen. All right. No, this has happened to all of us. Only us who have the pearl of the Holy Spirit of the gates, continues Sister Janice. Okay, the angel then says to the soul, do if thou know who these are? She replies in the negative and the angel goes on. These whom thou beholdest here were formed like unto thee in the womb of their mother. When they came into the world, they observed the God's Torah and his commandments. Therefore, they became the partakers of this bliss, which thou seest them enjoy. Know also thou will, will one day depart from the world below. And if thou will observe God's Torah, then will thou be found worthy of sitting with these pious ones. But if not, that will be doomed to the other place. Stop. The Torah is not the books or the stones of the righteous. The Kabbalah mysteries is the breath of God. So it's telling you to look at the constellations. That's why y'all praise the science, but, and, and, and all this other stuff and the wise guys, but they lying to you. Go ahead. Sister Sims. In the evening, <clears throat> excuse me. The angel takes the soul to hell and there points out the sinners whom the angels of destruction are smiting with fiery scourges. The, the sinner all the while crying out, whoa, whoa. 
but no mercy is shown unto them. The angel then questions the soul as before. Do thou know who these are? Stop. <clears throat> now, in your book, Luke chapter 16, Bible people of the Christian who, you know, might be a little shaky about this. In Luke 16, verse uh, 20 to the end, it talks about the rich man who through theology, we understand his name dives and Lazarus or to the Muslim, Allah, Allahurus, Allah, Allahurus. Now, Allah auras is the same seven churches, seven seals, or seven chakras of the Most High God in your Revelations chapter seven. So all y'all say the inner of the Most High and we're going to dwell in him. Now, when Lazarus was in heaven, the, the, the tormented guy said, hey, Father Abraham, meaning the power of God's house, first I breath seals, I am. Tell Abraham to dip, I mean, tell uh, uh, Lazarus to dip his finger, which is a holy water, that water that Yeshua in, in chapter four told the lady, if I give you this water, you will never thirst again. Had nothing to do with her tongue. It was talking about the soul essence. And so he says, tell his finger to dip and put it in my mouth. Well, that's some powerful stuff to shut hell down. Just a, you know how much water that is? That's not much water. You take a sip when you're thirsty and you got to take a guzzle gulp after that because it ain't going to quench your thirst. So this is a quencher like that. That's what Yeshua was talking about. And here we are. What did the people say? Father Abraham said, well, you cashed out with what you wanted to cash out in the world. So now the demons got you. That, that's what you reap what you sow, player. You don't reap what you sow just on earth. No, that's, that's mama's laws. There's somebody you got to answer to after mama. Or the Holy Spirit. And that's when you disembody from this. And what she said goes. Because daddy going to say, well, you know what your mother said in your soul. See? See, they're going to tell you like outside characters, that's your mother. No, the spirit is the spirit and the soul is the soul. The Holy Ghost, soul. The Holy Spirit, uh, excuse me, the Holy Spirit, soul. The Holy Ghost, spirit, masculine. Fire, the father continues to the uh, Do thou know who these are? And as before, the reply is negative. The angel continues. These who are consumed with fire were created like unto thee. When they were put into the world, they did not observe God's Torah and his commandments. Therefore, have they come to this disgrace, which thou seest them suffer. Stop. Remember the Torah. Uh, is looking up at the black and white fire. The black is the darkness in your book called the law or el ayahua. That that's mean love. Whether you say love, love is even el ayahua. All right. So whether law or love, or uh, uh, you say love is still the same frequency either way you go. The father don't even point fingers, but the the Torah, which is the bull of the Taurus which is the side of the sheriffim. One has a bull, one has a Leo. That's the Leo of the August. One has a bird, that's a, a Aquilus, because there's no bird in the Zodiac. That's Aquilus <laughs> constellation uh, with the wings. Uh, that's what you put the Phoenix, Maya, Christ with the wings and, and all that, the dove and all that. It's a fire thing that's up there. And if you're looking at book stones and science and, and you know, just not what we just told you, not me, brother BC. No, this is the word of God. And that's why we can't move mountains. How you move the mountain, the doctor got to study the cosmos and your inner metaphysical anatomy before that he could be called a doctor or a scientist. Well, what are we doing here when we pray? Lord, let cancer go. You don't know what the doctor knows. And it causes you to go to the doctor. when. You don't go to the doctor until your anatomy tell you yourself something ain't right here. Oh, man, I'm sick. What the hell you need them for? Just to get an understanding. And it wasn't cancer. It's what you're doing in your life. It has caught up with you. It's harvest time now. 30 years you've been doing this or whatever. And when you were doing that, you wasn't covered by God. Sometimes people can drink liquor. That's what it, that's what it takes for them to have a peace of mind to receive God. 
What is it to your business? That's not your soul. That's not your body. Mind your business. That's what people problem is right now. Why they can't raise the dead. He's swooping in business that ain't yours. You didn't put that energy to that. So now when you need God, you are useless. Go ahead, Mr. Janice. Okay. No, thy destiny is also to depart from the world. Be just, therefore, and not wicked, that thou mayest gain the future world. Between morning and evening, the angel carries the soul around and shows her where she will live and where she will die. And And the place where she will bear, will she will, the place where she will bury, and he takes her through the whole world, and points out the just and the sinners, and all things. And in the evening, he replaces her in the womb of the. Of the mother, and there she remains for nine months. When Stop. the time arrives now, those seven days of God is you going through the process. Is all of us as the body of Christ, as a one collectively particle soul in the womb of the mother, which what you understand is Christ that will rule with the iron rod. Remember, even the Holy Spirit must have a body to be seen. Spirits must have some type of physical, metaphysical, some type of form. But our first form was in the breath of God in the cosmos. We weren't satisfied with that. And you see where that got us. Continue. When the time arrives for her to emerge from the womb into the open world, the same angel addresses the soul. The time has come for thee to go abroad into the open world. The soul demurs. Why do thou want to make me go forth into the open world the angel replies know that as thou were formed against thy will so now thou will be born against thy will and against thy will thou shall die and against thy will shall thou and against thy will thou shall Thou shalt die, and against thy will thou shalt give an account of thyself before the kings of kings, the Holy One. Blessed be he, but the soul is reluctant to leave her place. Then the angel Phillips, Phillips the babe on the nose, extinguishes the light as his head and brings him forth into the world against his will. Immediately the child forgets all. You there? Yeah, I'm waiting for it to go move up. Immediately the oh, child must be acting up. I'm like, I've been here. <laughs> Immediately the child forgets all his soul has seen and learnt, and he comes into the world crying, for he loses a place of shelter and security and rest. And when the time arrives for man to the quilt this world, the same angel appears and asks him, Do thou recognize me? And man replies, Yes. But, that, but why do if thou come to me today and thou didst come and thou didst come on no other day? The angel says, Stop. Take This is what Hezekiah did. Uh, Enoch, Elijah skipped it. 
But everyone who wanted, Lord, no, I want to go. But Hezekiah, we know for sure, is the one that God moved all heaven, broke the tablets, and gave them extra years by 10 degrees backwards. Every 10 degrees forward, we go to a new season after three. Every three months is 10 degrees. So when we go March, April, May, bam, we come right in the summer. So God took 10 degrees back. So one of those in them seasons, which was Passover, you know what I'm saying? You know, in First Kings, to tell you that. In Passover, he took one of those months and, and, and just taking 10 degrees, y'all, gave that man extra 15 years in life. So understand what's being said here. Go ahead, Sister Janice. The angel says. The angel says to take thee away from the world, for the time of thy departure has arrived. Then man falls to weeping, and his voice And his voice penetrates to all ends of the world, yet no creature hears his voice except the cock alone. Man remonstrates monastrates with the angel from two worlds. Now, now stop two. right there. Uh, see, we think that the cock crowing is bad for Peter. No, it saved his life. Go ahead. Man monastrates with the angel from two worlds thou didst take me, and into the world thou didst bring me. But the angel reminds them, Did I not tell thee that thou? Did I not did I not tell thee that thou were formed against thy will, and that thou would be born against thy will, and against thy will will thou would have died? would have died and against thy will thou will have to give an account and reckoning of thyself before the holy one blessed be he all right stop i'm about to flip this real quick now that was before time right okay. hold on before i go there let's uh let's go here Start about. All right. Go ahead, Sister Jens. Oh, sorry. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. This is the book of uh, Ezra. All right. Uh, chapter 13. All right. Like I said, the new revised standard version, Angel Eyes. You get free, you know, put it in, in, in the internet and you have the script, the book. All right. But this is not Ezra in your book, but the Greek half Jew, Iahiawa. All right, so let's understand where we're coming from. The man in the middle of the sea now, that's in your Bible, somebody coming out the sea. I'm going to show you how Bible flipped it and made your guys, the bad guys, and, 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 and uh, uh, the, the evil guys, the good guys. So you know what Revelation say, but listen what the word of God said at, uh, about the dream. Go ahead, Sister Janice, 23. Okay. Okay, you got to bring it down. I can't see it. 23, the one who brings the peril at the time will protect those who fall into peril. That time will protect those who fall into peril, who have works and faith toward the Almighty. Understand, therefore, that those who are left are more blessed than those who have died. 25, this is the interpretation of the vision. As for your seeing a man come up from the heart of, of the sea, this is he whom the Most High has been keeping for many ages, who will himself deliver his creation and he will direct those who, who are left at 27. And as for your seeing, as for your seeing wind and fire and storm and a storm coming out of the, his mouth, and as for his hot for his not holding a spear or weapon of war, yet destroying the onrushing multitude that came to conquer him. This is the interpretation. The days are coming when the most high will deliver of mine, wait, will deliver those who are on the earth 
and bewilderment of mind shall come over those who inhabited the earth. They shall plan to make war against one another, city against Stop. city, place against place. Now, now, that land, right? Let me go back to my joint real quick. Of course. All right, well, in the beginning, I showed you that land, you know, because I got it on my tablet. I can't show y'all on my tablet while I'm here. But we we had that land of extra land where we are. And when they be talking about in the earth, and man, y'all better stop that boo boo lying, man. Soon you go on the ice wall and get over that, man. That's the land over there, man. And so that's the water that separates us. And when God dried up, these kings coming over here, and for some of us, it's gonna be rewards. So it all depends on where you fit in the narrative. All right, here we go. This all depends on where you fit in the narrative of the breath, the breath of God. That's the story. See, that's why I say when I when the book tells me, believe the word of God, I'm supposed to go outside and see nature and, and all molecules form everything God say. I'm not trying to go talk about go look in the God. What the hell I'm doing that for? That's for people who's booty shaking in the club, somebody who ain't got the spirit. And that's who that's for that's school and, and band-aids for the hospital. That's not us, man. We are we, we did that 30, 40 years ago. We, we were trying to tell these people we don't do that. But just like Noah, they ain't listening. Oh, when when the fire comes, it ain't gonna be no water this time. And you you would think we would learn, but no, we, we got to come out here and then when people start seeing that fire start lighting people up, they were like, let me in, let me in. No. God going to tell the whole body of Christ, man, shut the door on these cats. And he's going to make us say, turn from you. Because we don't know you. Just like that. <laughs> and he's going to use us to do it because they say that he don't. Uh, he, he don't. Um, he don't judge. So let me get back to Sister Janice here so she can read. But if y'all who just came in, in the beginning, I showed a video of the earth. And um, we, um, you can see what we're talking about. Start at verse 30, Sister Janice. That's where you at. Okay. All I see is a black screen. Okay. There it is. Okay. And bewil bewilderment of mind shall come over those who inhabited the earth. They shall plan to make war against one another. City against city, place against place, people against people, and kingdom against kingdom. When that's what's going on right now, right? That's that's just a mirage to hide uh, what's going on. Go ahead, Sister Janice. When these things take place and the signs occur that I show you before, then my son will be revealed, whom you saw as a man coming up from the sea. You there? Yes, it's not moving. Oh, that's that. Okay, it's acting up. That's all. okay. It says, uh, Son of Man revealed to you, you whom saw as a man coming up from the sea. I would like to show y'all what that, what that really looks like. See the Rupus Negra? Y'all see that on the screen? Okay, just got there. Yeah, you're, you're, everything's moving, it's kind of delayed. Okay, yeah, well now we- Yeah, 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 thank you. Now, in 1921, this is a photo by NASA. 1921 now, God dang, they gave us these doo-doo telescopes and they know how to do that since 1921. It was a great depression during that time. My grandfather was born, Sonny Boomer was born and it got dog on 1921. So, that's what they were hiding. The, the Rupus Negra and the Ruha fish. A Negra is the melanin or the laminin that holds all earth together, brothers and sisters. I ain't talking about no damn Polaris. No, no, no. I ain't talking about Golgotha. I ain't talking about Golgotha. Nah, that's, that's terrestrial forces. Well, what I'm talking about is power. That right there. Every, you, you tell you the wind go all around it. We don't know what's there. You know when your smart guys say they don't understand that. That's when you what the book say and all that get get understanding because they know. But you see where knowledge ends up at, right? 
But when you got understanding and these knowledge, people look at you like you the peasant, but you let them spend their money and, and stuff and, and they can't figure it out. And you just come up in here and say, well, the dust scared the Lord. Now you see why they hated Isaiah and, and all the prophets, because when all the wise men and astrologers, like your scriptures say, they couldn't figure it out. These the guys you pay. Then the, the, the slave or the peasant come up in there and just bam, 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 dust saith the Lord. And then bam, it happened. Soon the man said, oh, tell me that wouldn't make nobody mad. But this is how he's coming up out of the waters. See, that's the top of your earth. So don't get it confused. What is underneath the waters and bitter waters of that thing floating around from Africa right now as we speak. It said a star going to fall. And that was in your solar eclipse. That's why I showed y'all all this. I'm showing you the damn solar eclipse. I'm showing you the pit was open and God cooled the pit down and he turned the sun to face and he put it back here. And y'all got seven more years because we had 69 of the seven years. There were seven years sets of 70. And when it came to 2018, they made Jerusalem a capital as if we didn't know it already. And in 40, uh, 40 years prior to that, they made uh, 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 Israel a state. God didn't say nothing about Israel being a state. So now you see the, the, the heresy that they have got you in and put you in. But they show you the clues and the map, and we don't get it. The, the, the crescent moon, the solar eclipse in the moon is to your bio energy. That's called life energy that's the same thing as saying the spirit and you see where it say this is meditation before meditation that's why i say pray ye at all times put on the armor of god you see if you're not doing this and a prayer don't mean oh heavenly father just a conversation with the spirit man like we're talking right now but you in the presence of god it's already counted as prayer period so you don't pray when you get ready to get in an accident or somebody come in here and start shooting a gun. You ain't got time for that. You're like, oh, Lord, help me. That's all time you got to, got, got to say. And what happened? He come save you. Now, that's a prayer, but you don't look at it like that. You look at it like a conversation. So that's all I'm trying to tell you. When you conversate with the real spirit, man, you don't even know you in the presence of power and prayer. And nothing can touch you. And look what happens when you do that. You get the auras of the Holy Spirit. What's penetrating to that? Radiation, cancer, all that stuff that's happening, man. That's why some of us, it, we supposed to have cancer right now. All these radio signals and airplanes and, man, we supposed to have been dead. But glory be to God, the, the, the word of God say, y'all going to eat snakes and drink poison and not a got dog on thing going to happen to you. And we live in these things right now. <laughs> totally clueless, brothers and sisters. Totally clueless you know that this is a doorway because you know the symbol the four that means the windows of heaven the seasons of heaven the seasons now that's an angel these things are in your scriptures and, and they throw it in our face see the flower of life is not the duality of the metatronic cube of death and this is where the cancer patient gamble his life when they say it's the angel of life and the angel of death I mean, telling you these two things right here. See, the flower of life, everything goes within itself, and it's e eternity. E e inner internality. There's it, it, nothing outside of it. it. Everything links to itself. It makes different shapes. It's got squares. It's got all kinds of numbers. It's got all kinds of intelligence that I can't give to you, but I'm telling you it's there. It's got colors. It's gold. You're supposed to be in a gold city. Who knows the mind of the Lord? This way you're supposed to be. And that flower image is the mother. Which makes us that. Well, you here, you in the pit. You in duality. You talking about Muslim ain't, ain't worthy for Jesus. You you division. Women can't speak. It's something about you that you always want to be like, ah, it's this and that. I don't talk like that. Ever since y'all know me, my mama up here, I've always been unison. I might not have been able to express it like I can now, but I now understand what God was molding me into. I don't know no devil. I'm not from that nigga. He tries to come into my path. If I let him in, yeah. But if I don't know that nigga, I don't know him. Like Adam, he didn't know that nigga. He got to come in in many tricks and forms and snakes and, and wood and space. You know how much stuff that nigga shape-shifted in? Just to be us. 
but it was our own thought. We thought a thought when God spoke to us as consciousness, as a body. Adam is not one man. Adam is the ancient days body. That's us, the soul of God, the Christ. We are the Eve, if you don't understand your book. And so when you understand, holy moly, we the ones that messed up and we fell right into Saturn. Look at the cube up in that joint. There ain't no cube up in here, man. But it has the cube. But you got to be in unison with the Lord and there's no way out. There's ways that, that connect and there's boundaries. See, boundaries. These things come together. That's why I want to show you. Go back. Go ahead, Sister Janice. Okay. Then when all the nations hear his voice, all the nations shall leave their homelands and the warfare that they have against one another and the innumerable. Stop. The warfares. I mean, we're leaving these seven continent lands. This first earth, first uh, heaven going to get rolled up. I showed you the real camera, bro. It's not a trick of all that land. And this dude had the pride audacity to call that little America. That jump bigger than all seven of our continents and Africa. If you could put seven continents, that's the real Africa. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. Hey, hood, wink the hell out of all of us, man. Go ahead, Sister Janet. That's okay. the land they stole from us, eating from up, uh, eating off the, the, the fruits of, you know what I'm saying? And telling us it's ice when they eating off the fruits of it. God's sick of it, man. He's sick of it. And the innumerable multitudes shall be gathered together, as you saw, wishing to come and conquer him. But he shall stand on the top of Mount Zion, and Zion shall come and be made manifest to all people, prepared and built as you saw the mountain carved out without hands. Then he, my son, will reprove the assembled nations for their ungodliness. This was symbolized by the storm. And we'll now remember, he said the mountain was carved out with our hands like the kingdom you're going to go take your hand pot back to when you receive righteousness. I made a temple not made with any hands. Stay with it. Go ahead, Sister Jens. 38. And will reproach them to their face with their evil thoughts and the torments with which they are to be tortured, which were symbolized by the flames and will destroy them without effort by means of the law, which was symbolized by the fire and as you're 39 and as you're seeing him gather to himself another multitude that was peaceable these are the nine tribes that were taken away from their own homeland into exile in the days of king hoshea and salamaza salamaza king of the assyrians made captive he took them across the river and they were taken to another land, but they formed this plan for themselves that they would leave the multitude of the nations and go to a more distant region where no human beings had ever lived, 42, so that there at least they might keep their statues that they not, had not kept in their own land. And they went into by the narrow passages of the Euphrates River for at that time, the Most High performed signs for them and stopped the channels of the river until they had crossed over. Stop. Now, in Antarctica, you can look up Sky God. He's been on this for a while and, and many others. They say that there are tunnels under the Antarctica that take you straight to Euphrates in Africa. What? And I ain't talking about walking no eight miles. I'm talking about bam, 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 you ran in Africa. So it says sometimes water, and even on TikTok, they caught these people trying to go under the ice and drill and try to figure some stuff out. There was big old giant things watching them, scared the living Jesus out of them. Go ahead, Sister Jen. Wow, that sounds like different realms. Uh, exactly yeah. what it is, because underwater also is, is realms that lead straight into outer space. And to prove it, when Russia and them was using that machine that cut through, they said, how the hell are we seeing sky ice, the same sky above your head with blue, 
right here at the depths of, uh, 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 under the earth before they started hearing hell screams and stuff like that. They say high as sky ice because it rejuvenates itself. It blow up the laser machine. There's no way to uh, get through it. And that's when they gave up a drilling project. Go ahead. Have you ever thought about that because our oppressors could not decipher that, could not explain it in their own thoughts, that they couldn't understand it and that you're it's coming natural to you what's natural to you is not natural to others that have no understanding of it or want of it bingo when that it you talking about is when our script say script you know though you can look it in the book i'm speaking the air the air is the medium between us and God, but it comes through our nerves of our neurons. That's why he say I made angels wind, not like the wind that blow, that's destruction. The wind of when you say, wow, like this intelligence, that means your book say my sheep know my voice, but the voice is the vibration, not words. That's why he tells us to keep up your intent. And God love. made them ignorant like that because they couldn't understand it, but his choice of people understand it clearly. It will take them only a moment once they have the understanding to understand Amen. it clearly, like they knew it all the time. Amen. 45, through that region, there was a long way to go, a journey of a year and a half. And that country is called Azareth. Ar Ar now, light. Mark or light nourisher power first worshippers seal breath Nazareth. Go ahead. 46. Then they lived there until the last times. And now, when they are about to come again, the Most High will stop the channels of the river again so that they may be able to cross over. Therefore, you saw the multitude gathered. Together in peace, but those who are left of your own people. Who are found within my my holy borders shall be saved. Therefore, when he destroys the multitude of the nations that are gathered together, he will defend the people who are who remain, and then he will show them very many wonders. I said, O oh, sovereign Lord, explain this to me. Why did I see the man coming up from the heart of the sea? He said to me, just as no one can explore or, 52. or know what is in the depths of the sea. So no one on earth can see my son or those who are with him, except in the day of his day. This stop, is the stop, stop. Those that are with him, that's paradise, Peter. We just seen the eclipse. That's, they did, that eclipse brought Peter and them into their body. And all your grandmas and up to the point to where we are. And we saw that, but we didn't know what, what, what the hell was going on. And in this, you see what he said. He going to bring them and already resurrected the Old Testament ancient folks that, that follow the word of the Amen, Menorah. The, 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 uh, the righteousness of Ashawa, you call Osiris, which is Sirius. A, the righteousness of the Kemet, the Kama'at, the spirit of Uma, the mother you call Tara, or the law or the mother of nature, the law of nature. So therefore, without her, him, we don't see the power. You can't have one without the other. Faith without works is dead. So faith is the father imagination in your brain, and the mother is the containment that an act and to show others that you do have it. Verse 53, go ahead, Sister Janice. And you alone have been enlightened about this because you have forsaken your own ways and have 
applied yourself to mine and have bring it up some sorry And have searched and I, out my law. And have searched out my law. 55. For you have devoted your life to wisdom and called understanding your mother. Therefore, I have shown you these things. For there is a reward laid up with. The most high. <laughs> the most high. For it will be that after there. For... It will be that after three more days, I will tell you other things and explain weighty and wondrous things matters to you. 57, when I got up and walked into the field, giving great glory and praise to the most high for the wonders of that he does from time to time. And because he governs the times and whatever things come to pass in their seasons. And I starved for three days. Now, let's finish this. Let me see. I want to show you all that land, man. Again, man. You know, I'm persistent. I, I, ah, there we go, Holy Spirit. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Overcome that snake fake, man. There ain't no power over here. That chump ain't got no power over here. We just got to be patient. We go to my like videos. This is my, this is my uh, TikTok, y'all, right here that I'm going to. That's how I know. You know, they give me heck, but that's all right. I go, I get heck everywhere I go that that's, that don't have the same spirit as us. So if I got this right, that was, it should be this one. It should be this one right here. I want to make sure I want to click, ah, right here. See that? See all that land right there? Yeah, see that water you got to cross? That's where you're going to come up. That way you're going to enter the earth. Enter, enter earth. Look at all that. All that is unaware. Pause. If you look at that right, you see Antarctica? See the west of Antarctica? See east, west, Antarctica? But that's the south. See the brain? See the hook? Cross that water. There goes Sinai right there, the, the peace sign. Sinai, the, the, the Jordan, the Red Sea, and all that. You know that's Israel, Egypt, Lower Egypt, Higher Egypt. You know right here, the gun. For the uh, Florida, they go to Gulf, they go to Atlantic. You see what I'm saying? That water runs into those portals. Water ain't nothing but a goddamn on portal. It's a medium, just like air is. And you need to understand what fire, air, wind, water, and earth is. They're all from water. All right. And all these tunnels and, and portals that lead to the same place, most high. And they tricked you with the map. Look, that's that big water. It just said, God got to drop the canals. They call that a canal. Right now, you ask somebody down there by the South Pole, they say them things melting like a mug. That's what God talking about. He about to come step up and in this joint. Now you got this thing running around here. Let me see now. Hold on. Let me see. This is my page, right? Yeah, it should be on my, it should be on my um, TikTok. Now you got this thing, these people talking about uh, this black shadow Great big old thing in the water, just growing, coming to the United States. I played that earlier. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's after that devil star, which in our book called Wormwood, it said it was going to do all that. It said this eclipse. It told you that like a car. Told you you go, Wormwood going to come. Told you you going to get the saints. It told you that. And said, we going to live to see it. Now, there's going to be one more seven-year event. We going to be about this joint. Now, I'm not telling you like seven years from now the exact number because of God. Like, if we ready, we ain't, we weren't even ready to know what the hell was going on. Say, this right here. We weren't even ready to know what was going on. Never mind talking about ready to see the kingdom. So, I'm telling you by God's word, He said 70 sets of seven years. You at 69 right now. The one that happened before that was a partial eclipse. That's a prophecy in your revelations about that. A third of the day will be taken away. Y'all taking God's word lightly. I'm not. I'm not. As long as he breathe understanding into me, I'm going to breathe that fire right back in y'all face. And then we're going to see who with God. That's all. No competition. Who? What is you breathing right now? 
because you be, might be your breath by people sick and dying right now and you don't have a clue because you don't know the spirit in you so if you are resonating to what the spirit is saying right here then you ain't got nothing to worry about you just mad you didn't get to say it but it's in you why are you here why are you listening to this look at the yo it say i put my name in all things y'all up here looking for a goddamn cross it's the yo yahuda it's the crescent man it's in the sun it's in the moon it's in the stars it's in the ground it's your fingernail it's your feet foot nail his name his symbol we have to talk about crosses man get out of here man i ain't got time for that man. the stars tells us man the stars tell us because his breath we listen in the lion mediator men i told you i'm done with these cats they lying i'm not playing with them no more so we're gonna call you out not me mr spirit don't be mad at me go ahead and finish this right here sister janice the souls of the pearls Okay, when it pop up, it hasn't popped up yet. There it is. That the Savior. And this is right come. here. Sorry, y'all. It is called the Kibra, Nagas. Naga is you now. Mm -hmm. Christ said, I'm a Naga on a stick. Y'all say serpent. All it is is a Seraphim. The serpent is the serpent, and then there's the Seraphim. Okay, the Seraphim is us, the body of Christ. Go ahead, Jens. 68 concerning mary our lady of salvation that the savior shall come from thy seed and that he shall deliver thee with thy fathers and thy seed after thee by his coming your salvation was created in the belly of adam in the form of a pearl before that's why the Bible tells you you got to, you got to have a pearl. He said, "I'm gonna give you a stone to eat." That you eating yourself? You if you don't got that 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 regenerated manna from eating the manna on earth, you not you not gonna make it, brothers and sisters. That's why they took these scripts out. Go ahead. In the form of a pearl before Eve, and when he and when he created Eve out of the rib, he brought her to Adam and said unto them now while she took a pause while she took a pause remember adam is ancient days i am that's christ we were cut from his side like they poked his side at the cross so and the spirit came out that was us we just didn't know it that was everybody even that was peter and all they didn't even know they didn't even have clue what was going on and so now we do now because we have the Holy Spirit. They had spirit split of the Holy Spirit unless the book said they had the full coat of mantle. Now they are like us, like Abraham, a David, where we hear he's king forever. That's not taken, supposed to be taken lightly. He just spoke over a man. Joshua told the son, stay still. When the son ever listened to a man, the son is the Roman got dog on devil, Samuel, you talking about. He ain't never listening to no man. He up there questioning Solomon, who is you? But David, I mean, Joshua tell him, sit your butt still in the name of the Lord. And he did it. And the book tell you, that's the first time in history, anything listened to a man through God, God, God through a man. Continues. So this is the Adam and the Iowa story, the love of God. That's the soul and the spirit. That's all it's telling you. They made you think about some physical man and all this other crazy stuff. No, man, it started in heaven. It's going to end in heaven. That was their interpretation of it. Uh, innocently. I, I don't know. I give them the benefit of the doubt. But anyway, multiply you from the belly of Adam. The pearl did not go out into Cain or Abel, but into the third that went forth from the belly of Adam. And it entered into the belly of Seth. Now, it skipped Cain because Abel, we know, had eternal life. So it's telling you each time that's a Christ image, like your book say, he begotten this and this is this children all the way to Christ. Go ahead. And then passing from him, that pearl went into those who were the firstborn. And came to Abraham. It hasn't went up yet. 
I know it's okay. The firstborn is where they got that rule that when the parents die, it go to the elder. That's all that means. Go ahead. And it did not go from Abraham into his firstborn, Ishmael, but it tarried and came into Isaac, the pure. And it did not go into the firstborn, the arrogant Esau, but it went into Jacob, the lowly one. And it did not enter from him. From Judah. And it did not go forth from Judah until four, four sinners had been born. But it came to... Ferris. Faraz, Faraz, Perez, the the patient one. And from him, this pearl went in, went to the firstborn until it came into the belly of Jesse, the father of thy father. And then it waited until six men of six men of wrath had been born. And after that it came to the seventh, David, thy innocent and humble father. For God hated the arrogant and proud and loveth the innocent and humble. And then it waded into the loins of thy father until five er erring fools had been born when it came into thy loins because of thy wisdom and understanding. And then the pearl waited and it did not go forth into thy firstborn for those good men of his his country neither denied him nor crucified him, like Israel, thy, per thy people. When they saw him who wrought miracles, who was to be born from the pearl, they believed. They believed on him when they heard the report of him and the pearl did not go forth into the youngest youngest Adrami. For those good men neither crucified him nor denied him when they saw the working of miracles and wonders by him that was to be born from the pearl. And afterwards they believed in him through his disciples. Now the pearl, which is to be your salvation, went forth from thy belly and entered into the belly of Iorbi, Iorbi, uh, Rohaba, uh, Yeah, Rohaba, Solomon's Rohaba, son, Rohaba. I think it is. Thy son, because of the wickedness of Israel, thy people, who in their denial and in their wickedness crucified, not not been crucified if but if it had not been crucified he could not been yours wait a minute he <laughs> been your salvation for he was crucified without sin and he rose again without without sin and and for the sake of this and without corruption. And for the sake of this, he went down to you into Sheol and tore down its walls. That he might, might deliver, deliver you, you and bring you out and show mercy upon all of you. Ye in whose bellies the pearls shall be carried, shall be saved with. Himself with your wives, and none of you shall be, shall your father Adam unto him that shall come. Thy kinsmen, Iakim, Iakim, which is Jack, Jack, yeah. ja and yeah. from well, you know, with no Jamie, history, people who say that. And from Eve, thy mother, 
the wife of Adam, to Noah, and, and his wife, Jamaza, to Tara, Terah, and his wife, Aminia, and to Aminia, and, and his wife, Sarah, Sarah, and to Isaac, his wife, Rebekah, and to Jacob, and his wife, Leah, Leah, and to Yehuda and his bride Tamar, and to thy father and his wife Bathsheba, Bathsheba, and at and to thyself and to Bana, thy wife, and to Rohabim, oh thy son and his I wife think. Amisa. All right, here we go. And I am Jachim, Jachim, that kinsman who is to come, and his wife, Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. None of you who have carried the pearl shall be destroyed. And whether it be to your men or to your women, those who have, have carried the pearl, shall not be destroyed for the pearl shall be carried by men who shall be righteous Can and move yet? who have carried who have carried the pearl shall not be destroyed for they shall become pure through that pearl And for his sake and for the sake of Zion, he had. He have created the Stop whole that world. world. Stop okay. right there. Because it's cutting me out. I don't, I'm like, I ain't hear you read that. So you must have been, uh, it's acting up. So I, I I'm don't, not seeing you know? it. Yeah, it's not swirling up fast. Yeah, so so I'm like, I, I'm seeing stuff. And then you went from shell be holy. I ain't hearing nothing. And you like dying in the world. I'm like, all right, we're going to cut it right there. So I'm yeah, going to go it's jumping. Comments. It's jumping real fast. And it's jumping faster than my eyes can see it. It stops and then it jumps and skips. Okay. So I'm going to ask everybody, man, how, how was it? I don't know. Because, <laughs> you know, we can't see comments because we reading on another uh, on another, um, on another another page. So I'm, I'm looking at the comments to see if anybody well, was talking about. it's very interesting. And maybe we can continue this um, tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. So, but would you, uh, before you go, would you lead us out in prayer? Okay. Let us bow our heads and close our eyes and concentrate on him. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you and glorify your precious, holy, wonderful, glorious name. We thank you for all you've done, all you're doing, and all you're going to do for us as we continue to search you out, You said to search for you, and we will find you. And Lord, we ask that we can thank you and glorify your name and continue to receive understanding in all that you give us in the matchless name through your son, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen and amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forever. Amen.